Welcome back comrades to another video. Today we'll be running through a juicy back and bicep workout. Right, just getting stuck right in. First, starting on a hip thrust plus a cable row. So on the bottom, you're hinging your hips all the way down and you're thrusting up and squeezing on the peak. Down two, three, thrusting up, squeezing on the peak. Doing these between 10 and 15 reps. And of course your tempo is nice and slow. When you're coming up, you're rowing all the way and pulling back as far as possible, squeezing as hard as you can on the peak. Okay. And supersetting with a single arm cable up pull down, just on one knee, all the way down, squeezing, full extension on the way up, three seconds. and leaning slightly forward with your torso as well. And once you reach between eight and 12 reps, simply switching sides, changing knees. Very good. Again, I'm doing 15 reps. How many reps are you doing? About 15, two on each, each side. side. Oof. You can perform these nice and fast, like I'm doing now, and then I mix it with slow controlled reps. Just to put my muscles through each tempo range, that way I'm really, really warm. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Very good. And single arm cable that pull down for me. This, I'm just going to do eight each side. I'm already very warm. Beautiful. These are touch and go, so. Perform as many reps or sets as you want. I wouldn't recommend more than three. Ugh. I'm very warmed up. Very, very warm. All right, let's get it. Jumping into the first exercise. Okay, comrades, starting on the first exercise. This is one of my favorites in the gym, a plate loaded lat pull down. Now you can do them double arm or single arm unilaterally. Today we're just going to do double arm, focusing on the contraction on the peak, which is on the bottom, getting the full extension on the top. Of course, your tempo remains at three seconds, squeezing, contracting. Now, when you start, or rather when you're setting up for this exercise, see how my pelvis is tucked all the way into the pads? That's the target, that's the goal. Make sure you're tucked all the way, and your torso is slightly back. That way, your arms have enough room and your lats can comfortably go through the full range of motion. Nice, so we were starting on three heavy sets, no warm up sets. That was the first one between 12 and 15 reps. Next two sets are gonna be low range hypertrophy. So eight to 10 reps, plus a drop set at the end. Coming in with the second working set, I said I'm not mucking around. Three 20 kilo plates each side, 120 kilos in total. I'm aiming for 10 reps. Let's go. Okay, thumbs, tuck in. Feet nice and flat. Let's go. Oh yeah, this is good. Two. Three. Pulling through my back and lats with every single rep. I 
think that was more than 10, 11. But to be honest, after nine, I wasn't counting because I knew that I got more than 10. Let's get it. Third and final set here on the lat pull down. This is gonna be a difficult one. Aiming for eight reps plus a drop set. Three twenties and a five each side. 130 kilos in total. Let's get it. I literally have to use my legs to pull me down into the seat. Otherwise I'll sit there dangling. Feet nice and flat. Let's go. Halfway. One more. Beautiful. Again, an extra rep. Let's drop set it. Two twenties now. Two failure. Let's go. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. See you at the next exercise. Moving straight into the second exercise now, we have my favorite exercise on any pull or push day, a chest supported double cable face pulls. This particular variation, I'm gonna be wrapping towards my mouth instead of my shoulders. That way I can work more of my middle trapezius and rear deltoids at the same time. Yes. Squeezing. I'm starting on 32.5 kilograms, which is actually quite heavy, but I've done 70 kilos before. Same technique, same tempo. Aim me for about 15 reps to start. Keeping my palms at 45 degrees, I wanna wrap, squeeze all the way, and control. So we have a pause wrap, or a pause at the peak, while maintaining your eccentric tempo. <clears throat> 13, two more. Very nice. Two more sets. Second set, double cable, chest supported, face pulls. Straight to 37.5 kilograms, 10 to 15 reps. Nice and easy. Let's get it. Right. Uh. Feet in front. Nice. Like, I feel this exercise, literally, with every single rep. My muscles feel like they're tearing, squeezing, and contracting. Uh, very good. Again, you're aiming for your mouth. The alternative would be aiming for your forehead. Uh, and that would be on push day. Uh. I believe that's 10. 11. One more for good luck. Very good. Okay, third and final set. Jumping right to 40 kilos. I'll see how many reps I can do. Um, aiming between eight and 15. It's cool. Can't really talk much because it's gonna be a very hard set. Let's go. Ah, oh, easy, man. All right, show off. Sorry? Show off. Show easy. off? Oh, you're just jealous I'm lifting double your weight, oh, yeah? Stop it, yeah? <clears throat> Literally moving the whole bench with me. That's ten. Nah, that was five. Okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Come on, the bitch started there. 
See you in the next exercise, ladies and <laughs> gents. Third and final back exercise for today, a straight arm cable lat pull down. Typically, we would use an easy bar attachment for the, for the cable, but we don't have one of those, so we're just gonna use a regular cable attachment in a pronated grip. So, starting on my first set, 20 kilos, nice and slow, 15 reps, squeezing on a peak, tucking and squeezing, controlling just so the bar, or before the bar gets out of my vision, I'm coming back down for one, squeezing and controlling. Throughout this entire motion, I'm pulling through my back, not my arms, and squeezing with my core as well. Very nice. The other alternative would be using a supinated grip, so an underhand grip. This feels phenomenal. 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 <laughs> Last one. Very good. All right. One more set, let's get it. Okay, as mentioned, the final set of the entire workout from back before we move into biceps. Same weights, same reps of the same exercise. What do you know? <coughs> as, as, us. as, as is us, as. As is us, us, exactly. Yeah, um, nice coffee would go down really well right now. Hey, what? An ice coffee would go down really well. Nice coffee. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't drink caffeine, but that's a story for another day. Moving on to biceps. Final exercise, straight into biceps. We're gonna do one exercise for biceps. Four working sets. A dumbbell with a supinated twist. A dumbbell, a dumbbell curl, bicep curl with a supinated twist on the top. Squeezing, contracting, and twisting. Now, this is a supinated twist, meaning an underhand twist on the peak and coming back down, almost mimicking a hammer curl, a bicep hammer curl. The benefit of this exercise, I'm not only working my brachialis, which is your bicep muscle, but your brachioradialis, which is the muscle that connects from your bicep into your forearms. So the best of both worlds. Just going to failure. Oh my goodness, get going. I've got two more at least. Okay, I would say that's failure, would you not? Fourth, final set on the dumbbell bicep curls with the twist. All sets were done with the 10 kilograms dumbbells. Again, it's still failure. My biceps are absolutely demolished. Again, considering that all your pull exercises or your back exercises will incorporate your biceps throughout the exercise and the lift as well. So when you get to this final exercise where you're just isolating your biceps, they're gonna feel demolished already. So I don't really need to lift too heavy. Uh, 
I'm gonna do a drop set. Uh, one sec. Uh, half the weight, five kilograms now. Okay, done and dusted. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that concludes our back and bicep workout for today, our double B workout. Hopefully you learned something from today's workout. And if you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel for a yearly supply of gains, and I'll see you in the next bloody video. Have a nice day. Let's get it.